What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Hey, man, I, I, I want to just hurry up and do this video. I don't even do these type of videos no more, but I don't mind talking about this since I'm an Advic fan who's watching everything in the community, the battle rap community, what's going on. Yo, this is BS, man. Like, I didn't want to say it, but man, a lot of you niggas like kissing ass. Cassidy, I don't know what power you have on this battle rap community that was supposed to be real, honest, um, not subjected to somebody being a, a washed up celebrity or whatever, this and that. I don't even want to come at you like this, Cass, but you seem not to take losing to the proper point that it should be taken to, bro. Talking about you missed the this 5,000 and no and all this. Like, man, fuck out of here with all that, man. Listen. If all you guys gonna be in this battle rap community and call yourself a battle rap blogger, I know what y'all thinking. Who am I to say it if, if if I choose not to really do videos of battle rap like that no more? Because you niggas is what the problem I'm talking about. No integrity. Y'all y'all do all this rah rah on y'all blogs and shit like that. But when it comes time to put your stamp and stand on your square, you I see niggas. During the um when the resolution battles were going on, I seen niggas that we know I ain't calling out names, but y'all seen it with y'all own eyes on Twitter, y'all seen it on Instagram, and y'all seen dudes in the Facebook group. I'm not gonna call out the names, but y'all know who. I seen dudes when the battle was going on and after it talking about body bag. Oh, Cassidy is washed up, he's finished. To now a couple of days later, some a couple of hours later. Oh, Cassidy, oh, I'ma say Cassidy took that. Cassidy took took it 2-1, maybe 3, oh, like, what? What battle was you watching? I'm a diehard lyricist fan, but my soul that watches battle rap, the format that it is now, bro, you gotta, you gotta have more than just bars for me, and my thing is, Cassidy don't have to have no swag or nothing like that, he's Mr. Mr. Lyricist, but the problem was, bro, you was rapping like this shit was 1990, 1996 and we played a cassette player and you was trying to like, it was all melodic and slowish and come on man, y'all gotta keep it a stack man. Like I'm seeing dudes and their mama talking about Cassidy 1. Where was this? Cassidy 1? So y'all really gonna like take the, all the integrity, like I'm the one, one respect I used to have for the battle rap community no matter what was being, you know, um, being transpiring like the beefs or the dramas, even with the Tech 9 shits, the Chris Unbiased shit, all this extra shit. One thing about the battle rap community, even if people was brief, beefing or not, everybody took a break to, to call something out when it was needed to or come together to make a, a, a rash decision when you get a mess that we had with the Cassidy and Goods battle. Cassidy was damn near fighting the crowd, man. I know, I know the crowd don't matter, right? I remember n niggas been saying the crowd don't matter since 2012. I remember they started that bullshit even back in 2013 with the Charlie Clips when people used to be like Charlie Clips 3-0 and this and that. And if people would have been like, he didn't win 3-0, crowd booed this or that, people would have been like, nah, not the crowd. I give you that. Some crowd don't deserve to be validated as a good crowd worthy enough of, of giving us a verdict of who won or not. But God damn, you're going to tell me that crowd in Atlanta that was hype and, and, and they, were, they, they, were, they were rocking, man. They were rocking for the event. It was one hell of an event. I ain't even hating. I'm not going to be one of these bloggers saying, well, I'm going to critique this of the event. I ain't, man. It's been a while to see a smooth event. Just run smooth. I'm talking about no drama, no this and that. Like, it was a good event. We're going to leave it at that. But... It's, it's being messed up because niggas is saying this nigga Cassidy won. I, I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all know I listen to the Angry Fans Radio. I don't listen to it a lot like that, but I listen to certain key pivotal interviews he have. Just even listening the Caps and Cassidy, I, I, I don't want to throw no shade, so I'm not going to say nothing. All I'm going to say is, come on, man. You, you, you have a bigger name than Cassidy damn near now, Caps. I'm going to just keep it. When it comes to this battle rap shit, this this style of battle rap, this era of battle rap, Angry Fans Radio is on a higher level than what Cassidy is. I, none of y'all can tell me this. It's been a long time since nigga was singing Come to My Hotel. That's That's been a long time ago. That accident he got into, 
I'm glad he came out alive, but that's been a long time ago. That case with him and AR Ab, first of all, free that boy AR Ab, that was a long time ago by now. So we, we ain't gonna keep using the sympathy card for Cassidy. Oh, Swiss beat did him wrong and all. I, I ain't gonna scratch that. I'm sorry, man. I seen two midi mediocre battles where one battle rapper disaster failed me both times in the first matchup and the second matchup, which was some clown. Hey, Cassidy won that battle based on the money he got, period. But this one, Goods came through. You may have not liked the Goods style or whatever, but in my opinion, it was good enough to beat Cassidy. It, it, maybe it was not that he defeated him. He had the crowd help because the crowd was booing Cash. But nevertheless, if we're raiding the battle, this is why we shouldn't have no judge no judge fucking battles look how niggas really choose their feelings instead of common sense and not being biased and just calling it like it is that's why you know i'm not gonna even advocate for having judging battles anymore my son is in the screen my bad you probably don't see him yeah i don't want to judge advocating battles anymore the verdict of that battle was goods beat cassidy 2-1 damn near 3-0 i'm not mad at nobody if you want to say 3-0 cassidy was coming with it in the first round so if you want to give cassidy the first round i give cassidy the first round then i gotta give goods both second um and third round but you know what i'm gonna give goods the first round too because cassidy was coming with it within half of the first round then he faltered out of it with that you know, and this exactly had the hand gestures he was doing. You know, my stars is coming, wild is humming, birds is chirping, morning is coming, daylight, see him. It's like he was waiting for the beat to drop or some shit. Yo, yo, I'm, I'm out of here, man. Like, I, I, I gotta throw the deuces on, on, on that type of BS, man. But battle rap, man, like, I'm gonna be real, man. Bloggers, man, stand on y'all squares, man. I'm not trying to do... This ain't no B videos or nothing like that. I'm, I miss the glory days of blogging, man. Like, come on, man. Even Y'all think I won't be trying to be in tune, man? Like, what happened to the integrity? Like, for real? If Cassidy won the battle versus goods, then this is why battle rap can't go to that commercial place it's supposed to go to. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't complain. It's cause niggas like y'all saying Cassidy won that. And some of you niggas said clearly. Man, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.